Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon. Thanks for joining me today. What we're going to be doing today is I have one more fret to do, and then we're going to install the frets on the fingerboard. But I wanted to show you up close exactly what we're doing here. What we have done is I've cut in the previous video, you saw me cut each one of these frets all along here. Now what I need to do is I need to nip the end of this and then file it. And I'll show you that right after we spin the intro. Be right back. All right, we are back and I have this one last fret to do. I gotta tell you, this is a bit of a pain because there's 20 frets on, on this particular neck and that means I'm cutting 40 times and filing 40 times and that gets a little annoying. So let me show you what it is that we do over here on this jig. And I'll get you a close up of that. So here we have the, the fret, and the tang is like, uh, it comes out the side. The, the fret is like a T, with the top part of the T being what you see up on the particular fretboard. And then the stem comes down with two sides that stick out, two little spring-like sides. And what they do is they hold this thing in place. But... This goes all the way to the end, and I don't want that. So what I'm doing here is I'm using this nipper, and this tool actually, if I can get my hand stop shaking long enough, cuts off the piece here that hangs down. And I do that on both sides. And I want to get it close to the tang that sets out here. And if I can get that, get the fret really tight in the fretboard, now, because my hands shake so much, I made this little jig which broke on me yesterday, actually, to tell you the truth. And what this does is this acts as a separate pair of hands. Because I want to file this part of the fret here that I've, I've cut off, there's a little piece of it still sticking up. And I want that nice and smooth. So in order to get there, what I am doing is I am holding this in place. There it is. Now what I do is I just hold this side and I file away until I get this thing perfectly smooth. All right, we are done. There is what we have. You can see it's flat out here and it's flat out here, that's going to allow it to wrap over top of the binding and then we are going to cut it and we're going to file it and you'll see all of that in just a moment. Now what I have here is the press that's going to go in the, the drill press and this will take each fret and put it in the slot, we'll line it up and then we'll press it down and it will put equal pressure over the entire fret so that the fret goes in according to this shape. Now, in order to make sure I've got the shape right here, I can also set this just like that. There you're able to see that this is perfectly arched to a 16 foot radius all the way across, all the way up. Oh, it's absolutely perfect. Whoever gets this guitar and plays it is going to love it because it's going to play extremely well. Okay, we are good. Now what I need to do is move over to the drill press 
and you'll see me do some of that, but I won't necessarily describe what it is that I'm doing. Again, I have taken all the frets, measured each one individually, and put them into this block of wood listing 1 to 20. And I have cut the ends of each fret so that they will fit specifically into the guitar. I sanded this down with a 220 grit paper. I then went to 320 and then I, I did a final coat of 400 just to make it nice and silky smooth. And we're not going to, I will put some oil on this later on in order to make sure that the wood doesn't dry out. All right, it is time for us to head over to the drill press. Now, before we start the frets, one thing that's really important is I have a wedge here. And the bottom of the guitar neck, where it's sitting in the cradle here, is suspended in the air by about that much. And I want to put this underneath it to support the neck so when we press down, we're not going to actually cause that neck to move or bow or break or snap or anything like that. So we're going to do that right now. So here we are. All the frets are in. I used and I've pressed them. I have not yet put any wax on the fingerboard or stain in order to allow me to put some drops of uh, CA glue or the super glue from Starbond on here. I will be doing that. What I have next is a jig that is cut here on about a 30 degree radius with a file that is in here. And what you do now is you very gently go along here like so. And the idea is this stays flat on the top here and this puts that little angle on the edge of the fret. Once this is done, I will tap it one more time with a hammer. This has got a brass piece on here and a plastic on here. And I will just gently make sure that that's all down flat. And I have another little file, which I will be using on here to tighten that up. Now we're going to come the other side and we're going to do the same thing. I can do that while um, at another time I don't have to do this and bore you to tears watching me file frets. So we will do that. At any rate, we're getting close. Uh, we're really getting close. So all of this is done and the frets will have to be leveled. They're going to have to be reshaped, and I'll show you how we do that. But we are making progress, so it's a good thing. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and hit that like button and the uh, notification bell so you know when we put up another video. Very soon, we're going to have this sitting on this acoustic guitar, all glued in place, ready for some strings. It won't be long now. So thank you again. And I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to check out the links and get yourself some English breakfast tea.
just because you can. It's a great drink. Mm. Good stuff. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.